Alrighty, so today we here we have an image of M20 that I've uh, been working on and I want to show you how you can create um, a little bit more contrast within this nebulosity and really sharpen some of these things um, as far as kind of uh, your dust lanes and um, we're going to be using mainly um, high pass filters and we're going to show you how uh, it works. So this image I've already processed with Pix and Sight, stretched it there, um, and I'm at I'm at that point where we've uploaded it now into Photoshop and are ready to uh, start working on sharpening some of the things uh, in this image here. So what we're going to do is go ahead and take our layer and we're going to duplicate it. Just drag it down over here, and it will duplicate a layer right up top. Okay, so what we're going to do is go ahead and under filters go to other and hit high pass now this high pass filter on here on the pixels and radius you can go from uh, pretty much essentially nothing and if you keep on dragging it over quite a bit you start to see some of the details um, kind of show up and essentially we're going to run two iterations to start out with and see what that gives us now um, the only problem that we have here is that whenever we do do the uh, high pass uh, filter if you can see actually in this small little window things tend to uh, be a little grainy and we'll show you how to use uh, another filter to kind of uh, eliminate that factor so um, the first the first uh, high pass filter that we want we want to highlight the the real bright area so I'm gonna go somewhere around uh, five and that should look good there and we're gonna hit OK and then we are going to set this to overlay now the problem that I get is all this this graininess um, in this image and that is due to the um, actual high pass filter that when you do that high pass things get real real grainy so if I switch this back to uh, normal you can see all that little graininess that you see flowing around the image particularly here on your dust lanes what I'm going to do is apply another filter under noise we're going to do dust and scratches and then we're going to apply a layer, um, uh, sorry, pixel radius of about anywhere from two to three. And you can see that at one, uh, things are, are back at, at being grainy. And if we hit two, and let's do that about three, the graininess really uh, goes away. And if you drag this picture across and let it go, you can see how that graininess goes away. So let's hit OK. And again, we are going to put overlay. And now the graininess is a lot less. And one of the things you can see here, when you turn it off and you turn it on, things really start to kind of uh, brighten up. But I don't want to apply this layer in its uh, full format there. Really, this first high pass layer was only to highlight some of these lighter and brighter areas. So. Um, I will copy this actual background layer. So control A, control C, and then we are going to add a mask. We're going to add it as a mask to this layer. So hit Alt and click on the mask, and then hit control V, and it should paste this as a mask. Now, um, if you're familiar with masks, the light areas show through, and the dark areas uh, occlude or hide things. Now for this mask, I also want to have the effect uh, applied. I want it to be applied smooth in a smooth fashion. So I'm going to go to Filter, Blur, and I'm going to do a Gaussian Blur of about two pixels. And you can see how really, again, we are taking away a lot of the graininess um, away from the image and hit OK. And now click on the layer mask. And you can see how this is now very subtle in how it applies that high 
uh, high pass filter to the light areas and you will see it some some in the dark areas but mainly um, due to the mass being applied here if you can see that it's not going to apply it so much to the dark dust lanes but more to the brighter areas all right so that's for the uh, light areas now we're going to do the same for the dark areas so we're going to duplicate that layer again we're going to do a high pass filter and we're going to do other high pass and now this time we're going to bump it up a little bit darker because we really want to accentuate those dark lanes so I would say about 15.5 is great we're going to do filter uh, noise dust and scratches and we're going to hit about three pixels and you can see how all that graininess really goes away and on this one we're actually going to set this to soft light and now if you take it off and on you can see how it really is starting to darken things up and um, in this case this is this high pass filter uh, layer that we were adding was to kind of uh, sharpen and accentuate the darker areas so I'm gonna go back to and click on my mask I'm gonna hit copy it and then I'm gonna apply a mask to this layer and then alt click on there and hit control V and now the same mask is on there but now if I want to apply that uh, effect to the dark areas I'm gonna hit control I for invert and it's actually now gonna block most of the back image and uh, most of the background sorry most of the nebulosity which is the bright areas and really only apply this to the darker dust lanes and so you can see here how that effect now is applied versus if I went ahead and double clicked on my mask and took it off it's a little bit more strong and so I want it to be as subtle as as possible and now if we uh, are happy with what the image looks like here you can stop here or you can go ahead and try to do another kind of iteration one more time of either one uh, of either the light areas or the dark areas to kind of get just a tiny bit more effect on there and I'm gonna try that out so I'm gonna actually take this image and do the high pass filter on this so let's go ahead and control A control C uh, sorry control shift C which copies the entire um, all the layers and then hit control V and I'm gonna do filter other high pass and then we're gonna drop this back down to about five or six or so depending on what what you like there but usually I try to keep it low or let's say we really only wanna do just a little bit more highlight we'll keep it there at four I'm gonna filter noise dust and scratches again keep it at around three pixels hit OK and since this is for the lighter regions we're gonna put a mask on there and we're gonna copy this mask and we're gonna we are going to paste it on here and again um, you want to go ahead and hit uh, overlay there it is and so when you click on and off it just you can very you can see it very subtly here on, oh, uh, edit undo brush tool you can see it really appear here on on that dust lane and that bright region there now what I'm gonna do is gonna go ahead and highlight all these and drag them over and put them actually all of them into a folder and that way I can toggle the effect off and then toggle the effect on now what these high pass filters do is they mess around with our stars and that's something that I don't like so what I'm gonna do is take the magic wand tool and let's go ahead and uh, with the tolerance level leave it at 5 and see 
what what happens um, the only thing with the want to is you have to have it clicked on an actual uh, layer uh, uh, image for it to work um, and so I'm gonna just click the background and that way it's not showing up here I think what I have here is I have it selected there yeah so let me just hit the lasso to and unclick there and so now the wand tool is active so we're gonna go ahead and hit the wand tool in the back and that's just a little bit too much there so let's hit the tolerance to 10 and let's start in the background here so we're gonna hit the background and while holding shift you're gonna add you're gonna continue to click and actually I'm gonna raise this up to 15 that way it, it go ahead, goes ahead and and selects more of of my actual image Let's go ahead and bump that up to 20 and see if we can get rid of all the, the smaller little areas here. They're actually not stars. Okay. So kind of looking around, we have selected uh, mainly the, the larger stars. Um, let me go ahead and add that little piece there and that little piece there. Okay, so now that we have selected the stars, we are gonna actually modify this. So right now we've actually selected the background uh, because we've been clicking on the background. So to select the stars, we're gonna inverse the selection. And actually, I wanna make this a very subtle change. So I'm gonna actually modify the selection and I'm gonna expand it usually going to expand it around anywhere from two to three pixels so it covers a wider um, actual radius and then I'm going to do another modification and we're going to feather this uh, about two pixels so it's an easier transition now what I'm going to do over here is go back to my group add an actual um, a mask and as you can see here, with the selection chosen, the mask automatically creates a star mask for you. But I want actually the opposite effect there. I want to hide the stars, so you can just click uh, Control Invert, and actually now you have generated a mask that hides your stars. So if I toggle, I hit Cancel there. If I toggle the actual star on and off you can see how things are being nicely protected as far as our star goes uh, our stars go with that mask you can take this one step further and instead of applying this whole high pass filter um, to the entire image you can drag this folder and even put that in one more folder minimize this and go ahead add a mask and then invert that mask to dark to, to black and what you can do is actually selectively paint what you want so you want white to show through and let's go ahead and bump that up just a bit and then we're gonna paint what we are really interested in and I'm gonna put the opacity here to 100% so everything shows through and we're gonna just selectively paint our nice dust lanes that we want to show uh, more definition 
and more contrast. And I am going to put this a little bit bigger there. I'm going to go over this area. Come down here and And even add some of that over here. And even some here cell. So now this effect is really, if you look at it, uh, let's look at the mask, alt click. It's really only being applied to these areas that we showed through. And so uh, now when we look at it, we can toggle things off and on and you can really see how we're increasing the sharpness of the nebulosity the sharpness and the detail in those dark lanes and really giving you some real nice contrast so um, again you can barely see the, the subtlety here from uh, a zoomed out view but really when you zoom in, if you toggle things off at the beginning and toggle things on uh, at the end, you'll really be able to tell the difference. Now, this is uh, an image that uh, we process some of the uh, dark dust lanes and the highlights uh, using high pass filters. Um, and kind of once you take this step further, add some color to it uh, I'll show you what I came up with here and that's the image after I've added the saturation colors back in Pixin Sight. but again I hope you found this tutorial helpful and hopefully you'll be able to use it on some of your next images to br really bring out uh, some of those dust lanes some of that contrast and really sharpen things up alright I'll see you next time take care